My name is Jeff Morgan. I am from Dallas, Texas. I wanted to speak very briefly about a couple of things that have been happening here in the governor's race in the state of Texas, the GOP governor's race. So as most people know, we have the current incumbent who is Governor Greg Abbott. We do have Don Huffines, who is a businessman, who is an outstanding businessman uh, who's running for governor. And we have Lieutenant Colonel Alan West, who is retired from the Army. He is the Lieutenant Colonel. We also have Chad Prather, uh, who's also, um, he's just another great guy. I don't think he's going to be polling. I think that he's in there just to make his voice heard more so than anything. But we have a big race coming up here for the governor's seat. So of course the, uh, the governor, the, the incumbent, is usually the favored person here. But I will say this, that there is polling data that suggests that he may not be a shoo-in as he expects to be. In fact, we have two great candidates that are challenging him that are very, very strong. And I've even been seeing this on the news right now. We have Don Huffines, who was my former senator uh, here in, um, in, in my district where I live. Don has been tremendous, just, just going after um, the, the, the failures of the Abbott administration. And then after uh, Senator Huffines was involved, a little bit after that, Colonel Allen West had to leave his position of the Texas GOP party. And then he threw his hat into the ring as well. So we've got two people. Alan West and Don Huffines, I know them both. I love them both. They're friends. I'm secure with either one of them. Uh, and and I've, uh, I've videotaped for both of them. I've seen them working together. They are both tremendous candidates. And what I'm going to say is this. I don't care right now whether you're going to vote for Don Huffines or whether you're going to vote for Alan West. The big issue is this. Anybody but Abbott. We must get Greg Abbott out of the governor's seat right now and we need to get either Don Huffines or Alan West in. So as some of you know, I've spoken with, with Senator Huffines many times in the past, and we've had him on Dad Talk Today and everything. I've also spoken with Colonel Alan West, and we've, we've had him on Dad Talk Today as well. But something very interesting happened a couple of days ago. Two days ago, I was able to actually sit in a meeting with Colonel Alan West and watch a presentation that was being given to him regarding the child support system. And this was done on, uh, mon on Monday, December the 27th. Lieutenant Colonel West actually had an immediate response to what he learned from that meeting. Lieutenant Colonel West supports reforming the current child support system in Texas. There are major issues in the current system, such as money not following the child into both homes. Child support in Texas, as it currently stands, is the plundering of one home and the redistribution of wealth to a second home, called the primary conservatorship which creates conflict in our divorce cases and in other cases. And Colonel West actually understood immediately this was a huge, huge issue. Money not following the child into both homes, an outdated child support evaluation process, and other policies that cause some parents, and usually and especially fathers, to become uninvolved in their child's life. Happens to mothers too, but the majority of instances it does happen to fathers. The child support laws that were originally enacted to help kids with runaway parents are now hurting the vast majority of kids by limiting their resources in one house, causing conflict amongst parents and limiting kids' access to one parent artificially. Children want to love both parents. Children need both parents. Our current child support policies in Texas actually make one parent a primary parent and the other parent becomes a visitor in the child's life. This will change. In sum, the state of Texas is causing much of the crisis of fatherlessness. It is so refreshing to hear a gubernatorial candidate such as Alan West and such as Senator Huffines in the past have said, it is the policies of the state that are killing our families. They are destroying our families. They are causing fatherlessness. They are contributing to the other factors associated with fatherlessness or single parent households, be it drug addiction, be it crime, being a high school dropout, being unwed teenage pregnancies, being suicides, even things such as rape. There is a high correlation about boys or men who rape who were raised in single parent households. These are the realities. These are what we're looking at right now. And we, it was so refreshing, again, to hear two great candidates saying, it's the policies of the state of Texas that are causing these problems. M much of the crisis of fatherhood through outdated laws, specifically in the area of child support. And here was something that was wonderful, very, very great to hear. 
Section 201.107C should be removed from the Texas Family Code. So what is 201.107C of the Texas Family Code? 201.107C says this, the presiding judges and the Title IV-D agency shall act and are authorized to act to take any action necessary to maximize the amount of federal funds available under the Title IV-D program. The child enforcement policies as they are right now are laid out under the guise of acting in the best interest of the children. They are destroying children. They are funding state programs. The state of Texas last year made approximately $90 million, from my understanding, in, by enforcing child support. Colonel West continued further and said, implementing cr credits for parenting time adjustments and considering both parents' incomes, not just one, this is no longer going to be that we go through divorce and the person who files first gets the cash, gets the prizes, gets the kids, gets the child support, gets the get all sorts of things. That's not going to happen. Under the West administration, what's going to happen is that the both parents' income will be considered. This would be a major, major step in the right direction. Additionally, the vast majority of other states have had these laws on the books for decades. Texas is claiming that they're wonderful, that they're great, that they're doing all of these things for children. They are outdated. They are one of three states, I believe, that has an outdated child support system. Uh, one of three states that I believe that actually helps to create controversy and pit parent against parent when, it come, when a matter of divorce takes place. Of course, the best thing is that parents stay together that parents, that the state would start to defend the institution of marriage and make parents try to work things out before easily and automatically granting a divorce. No-fault divorce was the biggest disaster that has taken place in our country in the last 50 years. Child support system probably runs a close second or third or fourth. I don't know. In regard to these laws, Colonel West stated this. In my 60 years of life, I have seen government policies destroy the nuclear family, mainly in the black community. In recent years, I have seen progressives turn these destructive policies against working class people, working class communities of all races, including Hispanics, Asians, and whites. As governor of Texas, I will put an end to policies that work to undermine families and the success of children. The success of Texas and America relies on the future of our children becoming upstanding and productive citizens. To help accomplish this goal, we should put an end to an undue bureaucratic burden on parents and children alike, especially when they are already in a difficult position. Divorce is one of the most traumatic things of impacts, not just a parent's life, but also children's life. When the state uses destructive child support policies and they, and they make matters worse, the state has a burden to bear. The state has a responsibility to acknowledge what it has done to help create these problems. Colonel West realizes that. Colonel West will address it. And by the way, I said Colonel West because I got to see it. It was amazing to watch him. Once he saw what was going on, both he and someone else realized immediately the child support system in Texas was a racket. It was a racket. And he said, I want a press release out within two hours. Two hours, I want the press release out. I want my position on this made known. Now, you may be a Democrat, and you may say, but you know what? I'm not going to vote Republican because I'm a Democrat. If you care about your children in this election, you will vote for either Senator Huffines or Colonel Allen West. You may be a black person. You may say, ah, you know what? But the blacks always vote Democrats. If you are a black person, and if you are a black man, and it was interesting because I was talking with a black woman yesterday and she says, this is what's happened to our communities. In fact, she told me, I have been deceived by the Democrats all of these years. What have they done for me? They have not done anything for me. And she was fully behind this thing. She has seen what sometimes often women will do to destroy men. You know, having children with three or four different people to have three or four different sources of income. I'm not blaming women alone because there are men that just abandon their responsibilities. They walk away. Those people too also need to be addressed. But so far what I've seen from the people that I've talked with, 
whether it is people from the black community or people from the Hispanic community. All over the place I've talked with people from the Hispanic community. And when we talk about the issue of child support, they almost always have a story about how they are going through something like this. Or they fear going through something like this because they realize the state of Texas actually is very destructive toward children and toward their policies, especially when it comes down to child support. If you are a Democrat that wants to see your families strengthened, if you are a black person, male or female, that believes in the integrity of the family, if you are an Asian, if you are a Hispanic, that wants to see the family strengthened, you need to vote for one of two people, either Don Hoffines or Alan West. You need to vote in the Republican primary for either Don Hoffines or Alan West. Governor Abbott has had eight years to fix this problem as governor, and he has not done so. Governor Abbott, in fact, was also the person, in my b belief, that helped to implement this whole system that has been so destructive to families. When he was attorney general, this was something that he bragged about. I've been to the courts. I've seen them take a guy away into prison because he could not pay child support. Lock him up. This was going to teach him a lesson. If you can't pay child support, you can't pay child support. They were locking him up because of poverty. They were locking him up in a debtor's prison, which is illegal in the state of Texas. And this was a Christmas time. He was not going to be able to see his kids and his wife and his wife's attorney. They were chuckling about it. They got their joys out of it. He got to go to jail and the kids did not get to see their father. Now, again, this happens to both genders, male and female. But if we want to talk about what the bestest thing is for our society, for our children, First off, we should be defending the institution of marriage when a divorce happens or when a child is born out of wedlock, the child needs access to both parents. I too am a child of divorce. Had I been told by a judge that I could only see a father or a mother on certain times and that they had to pay so much money or else they would go to jail, I would have been one pissed off person. I would have been mad as could be. And that's the way that I would have reacted as a child. And I'll tell you right now, what we're doing is with these policies, we are creating the trauma that we later on blame the kids for. We are doing it, we're blaming the kids, we're blaming the parents, we're blaming the mothers and the fathers. And the divorce attorneys, of course, they're in there, they're, they're making their money, the judges, they get to act like they're solving a problem. We need to fix this problem. I don't care, once again, if you are a Democrat, that wants to see your family fixed, that want to see child support reform changed, that wants to see some type of equality in parenting, that both parents have equal rights and equal duties. If you are a Hispanic, if you are black, if you are Asian, if you are white, you need to vote for either Don Hoffman or Alan West. And by the way, if you say, well, you know what, I'm a Democrat, my Democrat governor is going to do this. Right now, the person that you're talking about is Beto. Beto, with all due respect to him, I've met him, I thought he was a personable guy, but he's right now what he would be selling you would be like a used car salesman trying to sell you a luxury house. If you are a Democrat who thinks that, you know what, I'm gonna still vote Democrat because that's who I am, let me tell you this, the Democratic Party on this issue is not your friend. That's the reality. You want to vote against your own interest? You want to vote against your children? You want to vote for the destruction of your grandchildren? I guess that's your choice. But you have nobody on the Democratic Party who's running in such a position as, say, for governor, who will take the same strong stand as both Colonel West and Senator Huffines have taken. We need your vote, and we need you to go see westfortexas.com or donhuffines.com. Find out how you can get involved. They need people to help them out. We need to have a new governor, and that governor needs to either be Colonel Allen West or Senator Don Huffines. And that's my message for today. Thank you very much.